Welcome to episode thirteen thirty two. Ben Chestnut, co-founder of Mailchimp, nine lessons. This is an outline of episode thirteen thirty two. Lesson one to five. This is lesson six to nine. Lesson one: Being laid off is the best thing for him. Hard to. To quit, you know, a lot of people look at me and they think, "Oh, you're courageous. You went out and did your own thing." I got laid off, <laughs> uh, and I just thought that was the kick in the pants. I knew that if always I wanted to run my own thing. That was lesson two. His motivation was to help small businesses. His Thai mother ran a saloon from a kitchen when he was growing up. He's familiar with the struggle of small business owners. Similarly, Dan Kusius. The other co-founder has parents who ran a bakery store. Lesson three: When you start a business, don't think about risk. Think about change, chaos, and adaptability. And、um, and or or what's the balance you seek? I, I don't think about the risks too much. Yeah. I think about just people's ability to embrace change and chaos.、Yeah. I just look for adaptability. And four, what is creativity? Creativity is just connecting things.、Uh, Steve Jobs said this apparently, and I love it because, you know, it, it really illustrates my point. Most people, when they read this, they're like, "Wow, that's amazing!" Yeah, connecting. Connecting is the word that they focus on. It's things. Without things, you have nothing to connect. If you want a creative environment where you can constantly make people make things. Over and over again, it's all about the things. Lesson five: Abandon web design to concentrate on email marketing. Mailchimp was founded in Atlanta in 2001 by Ben Chestnut and Dan Kurzius, both of whom were experienced web designers. However, it wasn't until 2007 that Chestnut and Dan decided to shut down their web consultancy to solely focus on Mailchimp. Lesson six. Interesting and useful content to skip by spam. Is it? What is it? Anything. I mean, you saw it with the mail camp. I mean, it's creativity. It's anything that's funny or useful. Yeah. How do you get past spam? A spam filter. A really good spam filter. It's the same answer. Over. I'm going to sound like a broken、really? record. Be useful, and people will like your content and not、uh, block you. As a seven, using freemium to lure new customers. Um. To, it was probably just a few years after Freemium. I mean, when we launched Freemium, we might have had a hundred thousand customers in the system,、uh -huh. and then within one year, it was close to a million. And then we, you know, as we tested our abuse prevention algorithms, we could expand the Freemium offering, and we doubled it the next year. And then we were at three million users. And it's an A, no venture capital. Secret of his success: one hundred percent bootstrap. No venture capital. C funding. I don't know whether that means you haven't relied on outside funding to grow no your、funding. business. No funding. No funding. Why? You just haven't needed it, or you just didn't want to give up、uh, control in the boardroom? What? I think in the early days, VCs just didn't quite understand our business model. We were one of the first SaaS companies. And that makes me like、companies. the VCs. That's a nine. His company slogan is "Listen hard, change fast." What's that kind of balance you have as co-founders? Yeah, a, yeah. I mean, we we have this internal motto at Mailchimp. It's "Listen hard, change fast."、Yeah. And we joke that he's the、uh, "Listen hard," and I'm the "Change fast." Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.